Paraná, Santa Catarina, and Rio Grande do Sul. These are the three states which compose the South region of Brazil. Good day. Welcome back to When in Brazil. I'm excited to share the things I like about the região sul do Brasil. I live here for more than eight years, and I could tell. I enjoy and I love living here with my family. The territory of the south region is small as compared to the other four regions of Brazil. Just to give you an idea how small it is relatively speaking, the state of Minas Gerais alone is bigger in terms of land area than the states of the south region combined. It is the smallest region indeed, but it is my favorite for five reasons. Here are they. Number one, the region is considered the safest to visit in Brazil. According to data, it has the lowest crime rate of any region and is therefore considered the safest in the country to visit. Where I live, for instance, the city of Florianópolis, is known to be one of the safest cities in Brazil, with a crime rate far lower than many other major cities. Floripa has a rate of 15 homicides per 100,000 inhabitants. Although crime rates could be deceiving sometimes, nevertheless, the sense of safety is more appreciated here. You may also find some of the safest cities to live and visit, such as Jaragua do Sul, Blumenau, Curitiba, and many more. No wonder, the region attracts many tourists, both local and international. Number 2. The scenery. Incredible highlands, world-class beaches, amazing waterfalls, what have you. Here you can find Cambara do Sul, the overlooking view of Serra do Rio do Rastro, the breathtaking landscape of Lagoinha do Leste, the beautiful islands of Paranagua Bay, the gorgeous view of Balneário Camboriú, and the spectacular natural features, the mammoth waterfalls of Iguazu, and the incredible canyons of the Aparados da Serra. It's an enormous list of panoramic views to visit. In the high plains of the country's south region, we can find snow during the winter season, which leads me to my third point. Number three, the climate. It is the coldest region of the country with a subtropical climate and a region featuring four seasons in a year. The city of São Joaquim and the unique city of Gramado among several cities found in Serra Catarinense and Serra Gaúcha report snow yearly. Likewise, snow tending to occur every year in southern municipalities like Urubici, Urupema, São José dos Ausentes, Bom Jesus, Bom Jardim da Serra, Cambara do Sul, and Palmas. This is the place most Brazilian tourists go for snow without having to use their passports. And speaking of tourism, it is one of the major contributors of the South region's economy, which leads me to my fourth point. Number four, economy. Despite being a region small in terms of land territory, the South of Brazil represents the second largest country's economy based on GDP. Just to name a few, Santa Catarina is the largest producer of coal in Brazil, mainly in the city of Criciúma. Paraná is the largest producer of oil shale in Brazil. Agriculture, livestock, mining are great in the region as well. However, the flagships and main source of income are the industrial sector and the service sector. The world's second largest hydroelectric plant is also here, the plant of Itaipu. Culture The main ethnic origins of southern Brazil are Portuguese, Italian, German, Austrian, Polish, and Ukrainian. The first German immigrants arrived here in 1824. The first Italian immigrants, on the other hand, started arriving in 1875. There are some cities in the interior that were founded by Europeans. For instance, by the Germans such as Blumenau, Pomerogi, 
and joined Vili in Santa Catarina, by the Italians in Bento Gonçalves in Rio Grande do Sul, by the Ukrainians such as Prudentopolis in Paraná, and many more. European culture is more evident in this region than any other areas of the country. In fact, find communities where people know how to speak German or Italian languages. We could say the culture of the South is very much influenced by the European settlers during the 1800s. By the way, Rio Grande do Sul is known to be the land of Shuhasco and Shimahong. Gaushas are very accustomed to both. Well, I need to give a little explanation for that term. Gaushas are the people born in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, while people born in Paraná are called Paranaense, and people from the state of Santa Catarina are called Catarinense. This little region in Brazil has many natural attractions, cultural diversity, and immense hospitality. Ecotourism improves every day in this region. Those are some of the reasons why the South region is so highly appreciated by most Brazilians. So when in Brazil, this could be a potential entry in your bucket list to visit. Until next time, ciao ciao!